What makes a thriller exciting enough to watch? Is it the story, action, or the actual kill? And what if a thriller includes all of that? Wouldn't that be good? Luckily, we as audience get to see another gem after the movie Twelfth Fails Success. While both movies can't be compared as they belong to different genres, it's hard not to appreciate the craftsmanship in both the movies. The movie Kill takes the level one up and strives to entertain us with shock and gore. But somehow, you feel that the level of violence and gore portrayed in the movie is justified in its core. Thanks to its pacing, the script makes a strong prologue and takes into account the viewer's cognizance before laying the foundation for a perfect kill plot. Just like in the animal kingdom, a prey becomes a prize kill of the predator. The movie sets up the pace nicely for the lead actor Amrit, played by Laksh Lalwani. There are in fact three switch moments in the script, one that the prologue presents to us to justify the title, the second when the lead actor switches to his kill mode, and the third when the script does a flip somewhere in between to even portray criminals as a sorry bunch of victims. That third switch is something that I wasn't expecting, but Nagesh's writing makes it a vital point in the story. The writing then continues to maintain the strong point of justifying kill after kill. The story is an inspiration from a real-life incident that the creator of the movie actually went through. He wasn't able to do anything about it, but makes it a point to tell a story about what if he could. This reminds us about a scenario that set the plot in a Hollywood movie, Nobody, starring Bob Odenkirk. We know Bob from a hit series, Better Call Saul, but the actor actually went through a situation where his family got attacked at his home by a bunch of goons and he couldn't do anything about it. Nagesh's situation while traveling in a train was similar, and he neither was able to do anything. But the rage inside of these creators is something to watch out for. The level of detailing in both the movies is such that we get to see the actual fight sequence in the most realistic way possible. The famous bus fight sequence from the movie Nobody is perhaps the best one I saw over the last few years. And now when I got the chance to review the movie Kill, I feel the same. The meticulous direction to portray the vulnerability of the lead actor at each and every scene is done in the best way possible. The surprising package is, of course, Raghav Juyal, who we have forgotten due to his conscious effort to lay low in the film industry for a few years and reprise as a villain. His accent and surprising moments do add to the glory of the movie title, and yet he becomes the original kill for the lead actor at the end.